Are you ready to become a big meanie? Well, this is the deck for you. We are trying to make our opponents rage quit by sending them rocks and then finishing them off with cannonball. I like to use off meta decks and now that cannonball isn't meta anymore, that is when I decided to purchase him with tokens. I really was curious in how to make him work without Professor X. And so that is what both of these decks are doing. So this is the slightly more expensive version. We have the, the hood, we have debris and absorbing man. We have white widow and absorbing man. We have green goblin and sometimes even absorbing man. So with this version of the deck, we're putting a lot of junk on our side of the board and on my opponent's side of the board. The main goal is to lock their lanes and then fill in power after the fact. With the junk on our side, we can use Carnage to use that to gain additional power, or Cersei, who can transform the junk on our side into a benefit for us. We have three finishers in this deck. One is Shang-Chi, the other is Cannonball, and then the last one is Red Hulk, if you just need to slam a huge amount of power. Here we have a more affordable list. Of course, Cannonball is present. This is a Cannonball deck after all. And then I also have Nebulous. She is a Series 4 card right now. She can be replaced with some kind of disruption, probably Iceman. This deck has a lot of the same game plan as the other version. We, of course, have Carnage to destroy our junk. We have Dr. Octopus, which can fulfill a lane, and then you can cannonball a different lane, and now you can know exactly where the card will go or if it's going to be destroyed. If I'm playing Dr. Octopus, I'd like to get down a armor first in that lane, just in case. You also might be able to fit Shang-Chi in here, maybe for Nebula, and we will take this deck in and see how it performs. Okay, next up we have our first up. We have Elk. That's not really the first match, but we'll see if I can win this game. <laughs> I always like to start the videos with a win. Uh, so those are always my first matches, and then we go from there. I can do Nebula, White Widow, and Absorbing Man. Uh. Can I spread it out? I'll spread it out. So we'll go like that. Okay. Into Ravona. Yeah, maybe I should have had him in the same lane. But this gives me options on what to clog with Green Goblin. Which is why I spread them out. Because the goal is to... Goals and snap. <laughs> they may have Odin. So maybe I fill their white tiger lane. Or maybe I make them decide. If it's Odin, maybe I stay away from the white widow, white tiger lane. Okay, we're doing what this deck is designed to do, which is absolutely annoy our opponents. Do I throw Hood? into i think i throw hood into altar of death that way i can get red hulk down and i want to play red hulk middle so the question is do i play carnage down now i will play carnage down now i'm afraid of not having enough power or enough uh energy to play carnage later even though i'm probably going to draw into debris or something like that this is yeah so a six power yeah i could play sean right now that is very tempting red hulk here if they move iron lad and nocturne i think i take it out now i think i take him out now uh Demon here, Sean here. Yes, perfect. Chances were low that they were going to move those cards now, 
So strike while the iron's hot. Take out both of their movers. They threw away Jeff expecting to be able to move. That is hilarious. And now they have nothing to move, so it should be just playing middle. And even if they play Odin middle, that kind of gets nullified. Let's see what they can do. Yeah, nothing. Victory. So this was kind of an odd game how this played out, but you kind of got to see our closers, two of our closers, Sean and Red Hulk middle, even though Red Hulk didn't get to be played. You got to see the junk that we have, how Absorbing Man works with White Widow. We spread out our Widow's Kisses. We also have a potential Cersei line, but we didn't need it. Sean was able to clean up one of the lanes. So just a good, strong first showing. First showing. Okay, we have switched to Conquest. Let me try to lower the level of the competition. The more match what the people watching are more than likely going to be facing rather than the these top 1,000 nut jobs <laughs> that I have to play. Uh, which I happen to be one of them, I guess. Uh, do I play Nebula? Playing Nebula into Strange Academy is strong because people typically want to avoid as I say that, well, that's fine. We played where they got a card down, so it's one less turn. Magic makes me think more so Mr. Negative, at least initially. I did not draw any of my early game, so no need to play out. Yeah, it's, it's a Mr. Negative deck with Ravona. I'm a little bit more convinced. Okay, would have been nice if I was able to play Debris. Do I clog? I think oh, I do. Snap. So we'll go Nico and Green Goblin left. As you can see by the health bars, this is my first match. We did clog. I am Iron Man. Iron Man. Okay, it's a negative tribunal. So we got them there. Maybe. That's a significant amount of power. I can play Cannonball mid. So I think I'm going to play, as odd as this is going to sound, I'm going to play Absorbing Man here. We'll see it through, I don't really. <laughs> Care. Care, this is Conquest. So we'll stay through the snap and see what they can do. I'm going to play Cannonball middle. So that's that. Oh, I was going to play Cersei. Maybe I just play Hulk? Hmm. I'll side on the, the, go on the side of power. Behold my mighty hand. Behold my mighty hand. Okay, and this is a... They play Iron Man mid. Hmm. So if I play Cannonball... No, that's never enough. I really needed junk. I really needed to junk this game. So we will queue back up. Escaped. Now that I know what deck this is. Okay. We completed the first round. Yes, I lost four cubes. <laughs> uh, I didn't know. Uh, so in Conquest, you should you shouldn't snap until you know your opponent's deck. But I run into the issue of not overly caring. So I do know what deck my opponent is running, and it is a living tribunal deck. It might be a negative tribunal deck. So we have our clog cards in hand. So that is what we are going to do. We are going to clog, clog, clog. So let's see. Where do I want to play White Widow? mid and then debris and absorbing mango mid we'll play white widow into the unknown 
So that's there, and now it's just time to clog. Whoa. A ton of clog. Do I want to send Green Goblin first? I think I do. I want to send Green Goblin first and then see where I need to play Debris. Because Green Goblin's going to go to the mid. Slide over. If in games with Asteroid M, perfect. They're clogged middle. In games with Asteroid M, I always play Green Goblin off just in case. He'll go through. Uh, so he'll go through and then slide over. But if there's no space, then he'll just stay in his lane. And it also can't be Cosmo because Cosmo is going to move to Asteroid M. Not that anybody's running Cosmo these days. So we're just going to fulfill their lanes. <laughs> and this is what the deck is designed to do. So even though we are totally outgunned against a Living Tribunal deck, ultimately they need space to I play their cards. Iron Man. And they're out of space in two locations. And so I can just slam a Red Hulk down. They have literally one spot to play. So let's see. Do I play here? I think I play here. I don't need power uh, middle. If they retreat later, Victory. that's hilarious. So, this is a good showcase of how the deck works. Now, are we going to be able to pull out a win in Conquest? I don't know. But... Okay, next up, we are against Trustnix 7. Nowhere is the first location. Hmm. Titania is a late game play or if you have a filled lane she's good to throw in there for additional power if necessary but you really don't want to play her early we are going up against a zoo deck so it is time to clog and they are going to clog themselves with raft we're just going to need to clog another lane and then they're just not going to have enough space to play I think I'm going to snap back. So get Debris. They're going to fill this lane now. We can get down Doc Ock on the last turn. Oh, they are... Oh, they can only play to one lane. <laughs> Shauna got him. Where's Absman at? No Absman. Okay, so we get down... Hood, Carnage. Do I play Titania now? I do because I get a I get a uh, demon from the hood, and so I'm plotting out my turns. On turn five, it's one of my five costs. On turn six, it's a five cost and my demon. So that is why we are playing it out now. Yeah, Asman would have been perfect, but alas, we were. Not able to draw into him. I don't want to play Doc Ock. <laughs> right. So do I challenge all lanes? And is this an ongoing deck? It might be Blue Marvel is their play. So they slam a Blue Marvel left. And if that's the case, I think I want to just abandon left. So I will play Dr. Octopus mid. Oh. Okay. So what is it, Jeff? I mean, you definitely lost this game. And then we will just do Spider Woman and Demon. Victory. For some reason, when I start recording, I have better luck with the cheaper version. It's, it's very odd. Uh, but anyway, Another good solid win. You see how effective this game was for junk, especially against Zoo. Forget it. You have them skipping turns, and then if you're able to play an abs man, then they're just completely locked out. So some players will just lock themselves out, afraid of you locking them out. But then it's good game anyway, because they're locked out and you have enough power in this deck between Dr. Octopus, who won't pull any cards when he's played to a full lane, 
or spider woman who's actually a 512 because you're playing her into mostly full lanes so she would have been a 511 here because she's minus three uh to the other side this deck can be effective there are weaknesses of course against destroy that said in the cheaper version i have armor which can help against that matchup but if your game plan is working the opponent will not have much space to play so definitely that is the game plan and if it's not working retreat for a cube and call it a day but you see we got out of here with four cubes because we snapped aggressively we saw our game plan we saw what we were gonna do and they just weren't equipped to handle it okay next up we have roll the oldie moldy this tower do i play spider hand now if i don't and draw into yeah i'm gonna be patient Okay, they did not play a card. Okay, I think my patience paid off. So I'm actually going to play Spider Ham middle. Because if it moves left, that's just going to be my Carnage lane. So part of me wants to snap now. Oh, we got Loki too. Fantastic. Uh, I guess that could be Cersei. Or Red Hulk. I'm snapping because I want to clog. So I will play debris mid. I will play absorbing man mid. They couldn't have filled. What is this? Did they really fill? Uh, yeah. So I will play absorbing man here. They don't have Loki, so there is Doc Ock. What does he pull? Carnage first, please. Thank you. And then Spider Woman. That is a decent. That is a decent pull. So I think I just stack middle. I think I stack middle, and then I just play Cannonball. Cannonball right? Is that going to be enough? And they haven't... Maybe they took my Red Hulk. But we drew into the card that we needed. So I think it's just... Titania and Cannonball. That was probably our best draw, quite frankly. Two cards in deck, so it could be the Hood, Red Hulk, or another card. I don't use a deck tracker because I'm trying to mimic the mobile experience. A deck tracker is a huge advantage. So I think this is just our play, and we destroy Doc Ock. Yeah, and I think this pulls it off by one point left. And uh, never mind, we have a full cast of roll. And somebody with, uh, somebody with good manners. I'm playing a, a toxic deck. <laughs> somebody, somebody gave me a fist bump. Uh, if that isn't a sign to call this my last game, I don't know what is. You saw Cannonball come in and do work. Cannonball is not a dead card. You just have to reimagine his use now that Professor X is gone. So you want your opponent to have full lanes and Cannonball is still just as good as ever. You can flip lanes and you really don't need a lot of power, you see. They only have eight power left. They only have five power right. That's that's it. And so we're able to win with small amounts of power as long as your clog game is working. It's important to stress again, if your clog game is not working, you draw poorly, you will draw poorly, like you do every single deck you play, then just retreat for one cube. But if you see your game plan coming together and you're effectively clogging them, you snap four cubes. In a previous video's editor's note, I said that I wasn't going to highlight my rank. That isn't what this is precisely. I'm showing my rank just as an example of how I was very effective at, in my cube management. And I was able to break into the top 1000. I play out games even on ladder just because I need that information. I need to know how 
how my deck can lose in order to properly snap and retreat. But while I'm recording, I really try to focus on good snapping and retreating, which is why I like to test decks in advance so I learn what exactly that looks like and I can demonstrate good snapping and retreating. It's all practice. This isn't magic. I'm not some wizard. It's just paying attention to the games, knowing your matchups, and being patient and practicing good snapping and retreating. Next up is a bonus clip. Here you go. Snap. And I also have hook. Victory. <laughs> so I will play my cards mid. So we will go debris mid. We will go absorbing man mid. <laughs> Hilarious. And then turn five will be Green Goblin and White Widow. Victory. <laughs> Do I move Wong? I could move Wong with Cannonball right now. Let's do that. I'm afraid to snap. I haven't used this deck much. But we will see. Was this a Namora try? Oh, it was Sarah. Hmm. I mean, the funny thing is, I could... <laughs> I could Absorbing Man. Hmm. If I go Absorbing Man... And Armor? I eh, will roll the dice. Okay, that went the, the direction, the lane I wanted it to go in. Iron Heart, okay. And then Surfer, and we win? 